The main position question for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings in training camp right now is who is going to end up starting at center, uh, the pivot position for the Vikes. Because as the center goes, so goes the offensive line. As the offensive line goes, so goes Kirk Cousins. And as Kirk Cousins goes, so goes the offense, and so goes this damn team. And uh, incumbent Garrett Bradbury in year four, wanting some more, hoping waiting, wishing, sitting, waiting, wishing that he's going to turn things around. Also, they got veteran Chris Reed taking more and more uh, ba backup center snaps. He's working with the second team. He's looking over Bradbury's shoulder like, what up? What up? Also, veteran J.C. Treader uh, just remains, just hangs out there waiting like, hey, baby, come and get me. If you want some, come get some. That's right. So we put it out to you, the people. Uh, poll uh, question, who do you want the Vikings to start at center? Uh, implying this year, not just like in the future, uh, but 5,300 Jerome's voted. 11% uh, voted Bradbury. We'll get into you know the whole breakdown here. Chris Reed, 24%. J.C. Treader, 61%. Now, of course, J.C. Treader, pro bowler, uh, has had foot and ankle issues. Uh, didn't practice, practice at all last season, but did play every single game last year, minus one due to COVID. Uh, but he showed up on game day, but you do got a question to health. At his age, and of course, Quasey being with the Browns over the last two years would know everything you need to know about J.C. Treader. So maybe there's a reason why uh, he's not inked up because the Vikings certainly have a need, as well as they certainly have the cap space to bring in Treader. So it sort of is what it is. And then three percent voted other, and we had uh, if you voted other, we had to comment. A lot of uh, the comments were, "Why not try Wyatt Davis at center?" Which is a fair question. Uh, whatever there, but uh, it's interesting. So 11% uh, said Bradbury. So over, you know, what was it 500 and 550 plus votes said Garrett Bradbury. Now I, I understand it where uh, it was, uh, we were only two pad of practices in. Uh, he didn't look good on Monday. He looked better on Wednesday, even though he's still getting worked in one-on-ones uh, by Harrison Phillips. Now that could just be Harrison Phillips as a damn dog. Uh, but also it's not a good sign, especially since anchor is the main issue with Garrett Bradbury. But I fully understand that 11% of the Jeromes are like, okay, Quasey, Kevin O'Connell, they evaluated everything that was going on with the team. They thought that Bradbury was their best option. That's why they didn't bring in a big-time free agent center. That's why they did bring in a couple of veterans like Jesse Davis and Chris Reed and Austin Schlotman, etc. Uh, as well as, that's why they didn't draft a center. And Garrett Bradbury, let's give him a shot. We'll, we'll see what happens, right? And there still is a lot of camp left. There still is a lot of preseason. Well, all the preseason left. So, maybe he can turn things around. Turn the beat around. Maybe he can enter week one against the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers against his nemesis, Kenny Clark and actually be that dude, actually be that bully, the Grim Reacher that we all expected uh, coming out of NC State in 2019. 24% uh, said Chris Reed. Now, Chris Reed, a bit of a journeyman veteran, of course, the pride of Mankato State University Community College, played extremely well last year uh, for the Colts, playing mainly guard. Now, he's never taken a regular season snap at uh, center, but he has played extensively at center in preseason, uh, and he could be a guy where – I don't think that this contest is going to be decided uh, until the final preseason game. So uh, we'll see how Bradbury plays uh, uh, in games one, two, three. We'll see how Chris Reed does with the twos. Maybe Chris Reed even gets some time with the ones. Who, who really knows? But I, I don't think that all of a sudden you know, we're going to come into practice next week and Chris Reed is going to be one. Garrett Bradbury is going to be the bench. I don't think that's going to happen. But it could be at the end of training camp, at the end of preseason, all of a sudden Chris Reed has outperformed Garrett Bradbury. Could give you some cause for pause heading into week one. There could be a little bit of a surprise. And then, of course, J.C. Treader just hanging out there where if poop does hit the fan, like if things don't get better at Bradbury and if Chris Reed doesn't really step up, maybe you could see J.C. Treader coming in. And I, I do think that Treader, uh, being a veteran, doesn't necessarily need training camp. Uh, he played in a similar uh, blocking scheme uh, with the Browns as the uh, as uh, Kevin O'Connell and Chris Cooper and Wes Phillips uh, are installing uh, from the Rams. So... He would be able to be fine out of the gate, but it would be concerning. So you do have a veteran, and yeah, he, he does understand the scheme. Yes, he's been there, done there, got the T-shirt. But also, you're learning uh, to play next to brand new guards, whether it's uh, you know Ezra on, at left guard and whether it's Jesse Davis or Ed Ingram or whoever at right guard. Uh, that, that, that could be some issues. So if they're going to sign J.C. Treader, I prefer it sooner rather than later versus, hey, we just finished up the last preseason game against the Broncos. We just cut uh, down to 52, and now we signed uh, J.C. Treader to be that 53rd guy. I don't want that, even though, uh, again, if they do make a decision on Bradbury, I would prefer it to be after the first preseason game. Some live reps against the Raiders, see how he does, see how Chris Reed does, and if you don't like the results, then 
Sign J.C. Treader. Uh, do, do that up. And I, I do think that the Vikings had the potential to be an all-star offensive line. Again, you don't have to be top five. Be top half of the league. You know, let's run before uh, – let, let's crawl before we run or walk before we run. Whatever. Don't, re- don't really care. You know the analogy. Uh, but Darisaw, I think, has a chance to be a pro bowler. Brian O'Neill is already an absolute stud. Ezra is developing nicely in year three at guard. And then whoever starts at, uh, at right guard, Jesse Davis or Ed Ingram, I think is going to be perfectly fine. So the question is center. Can Bradbury get his ish together? If not, can Chris Reed step up and be that dude and become an established starter for the first time in his career? Can he have a Joe Berger type <clears throat> Phoenix run here with the Vikings? Possibly. Or do they have to go through door number three with uh, J.C. Treader or free agent TBD? I don't know at this point, but uh, it does bear watching. And uh, it's at a very important position. Uh, uh, again, Kirk Cousins, as long as he doesn't have dudes being chucked back into his lap by nose tackles, I think that he can be uh, a top five quarterback in this league on a given day. Uh, but if things aren't go aren't kosher with the offensive line and things aren't good to go, it could be a long season again. But hopefully they get it right. If Bradbury is the guy, if he steps up, great. If not, Chris Reed is there, awesome. If neither of them step up, J.C. Treader, come on down. That's it. But uh, your thoughts on our thoughts. Poll results. Uh, 61% of 5,300 Jerome say they want J.C. Treader and they want it now. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>